Hi everyone and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Malou. And I am Malou's best friend, Bob. We're gonna have some best friend fun then. Good. We're gonna show you how to play with music. We're gonna show you how to manage your music libraries with the HP TouchSmart PC. Finally, music, I love music. Now just to let you know, the HP TouchSmart application for music is a viewer and a player. It's like a right. new stereo. That's right. All right, let's get started. Let's play with a new stereo. Okay, so how you get started is you touch the little house right here in the bottom right corner. That's right. That'll launch the application for you. There you go. From there, you're going to touch music. And there you will see that there are already some songs preloaded. How did you do this? These come right out of the box. They were preloaded thanks to Microsoft, so you will already see some songs in your list. Okay, so I'm going to touch settings in the top right hand corner here because the okay. HP TouchSmart application supports two libraries. Okay. okay, one is the HP TouchSmart Media Libraries, and the other one is iTunes. Now you want to select one or the other. Okay. iTunes is one kind of library that you can use, yes. and uh, that does not come pre-installed. You have to download it yourself. Just go to apple.com slash downloads, and then you can install iTunes. That's right, and you have to have your internet connection already set up to be able to do that. All right, so we're going to show you how to use the HP TouchSmart Media Library. So that is checked right there. I'm going to touch Save. So there are several ways that you can actually get music into your HP TouchSmart PC. Right. One is to download, you know, to buy or download music right, right off the internet. That's right, and if you want to buy or to download it, you've got to make sure that you have an internet connection not provided by us that you provide for yourself. The second way is to rip music, and that's if you've already purchased music, you own your CDs, you own that music, you rip it, or you just basically transfer it into your own PC. But you make sure that you own that music, okay? Okay. All right, the third way is to transfer your music from an existing library. You probably already have music, right? I got tons of music, I got hex of music. All right, so we're gonna say. transfer my library instead of your library, because okay. you have too many songs. I have too many songs. All right, I already have music on my PC here. Take, take a look at this, this is the HP Pavilion DV5. It's a very beautiful laptop you have there. Yeah, isn't it nice? So I'm gonna transfer the music from here onto my HP Pocket Media Drive. Okay. Hand this to you, Okay. and you will load it onto the HP TouchMark PC. I'm going to plug it into the USB drive right here on the left side. Okay. I'm going to copy this music by transferring it from here onto the drive. It's starting to blink up and light, activate, activating. Now, your music folders might be anywhere on your computers, and the one thing that you do need to remember is when you do put music onto your HP TouchSmart, you need to put it into the music folder, and I'll show you how to get to that in a second. Okay, so the amount of time it actually takes to transfer your music depends on how many songs you have. So I only have a few in here, so it'll only take a couple of minutes. All now, right. I personally have thousands of songs, and it takes at least an hour just to transfer them all. But that's because I'm a lover of music. And if loving his music is wrong, I don't want to be right. All, all right, right, we're so almost done? We're just about done here, okay. so I'm going to safely remove my HP Pocket Media Drive. Okay. All right, and as soon as you're removing it... Here you go. I will take it. And there is, uh, again, we're using the USB ports on the side here. I'm going to plug it right in. And I'm going to press Home. And I'm going to press the Windows desktop so we can get back here. I want to open folder to view the files. All right. So this is this little pocket media drive right there. And I'm going to click Start. And I'm going to go to Music. Now this is the folder you have to use. Click Start, go to Music, and this is where the TouchSmart uh, Music application will recognize your music. I'm going to drag by clicking and dragging Music to Transfer. Thank you for making it very clear for me. It's nice to be organized. It's going to take a couple seconds to transfer it over. All right, here we go. So we have zero seconds remaining, which means it's done. And I'm going to relaunch the TouchSmart application. We're going to press Music, and there we go. We have all of our new albums. Now you can notice here uh, there is a blank CD. Yeah, that happens sometimes when you load all your music. You might see this blank CD, so that means you have to find the album art. That's right. I'm going to show you how to find that. Uh, go back to Home and go to the desktop by pressing the Windows. Now I'm going to click Start again, and I'm going to go to Windows Media Player. Now if you're using iTunes, this is where you would go to iTunes, but we're using the Media Player. And it's going to start putting in our new albums. And we're going to search for that one that did not have cover art. Because you really want to be able to see your cover art on your CDs, don't you? I mean, you want to see all the nice pictures. And as you can see, it's, it's now accepting all this new music into the Windows Media Player because it's the first time we've launched it with the new music. Ah, here we are. It's Bob Sinclair, Western Dream, all right? One of the ways to find your album cover art is to go over the blank CD and you right-click on it, go to Find Album Info, and now it's going to be searching the internet to find the album, and this is the one we want, Bob Sinclair, Western Dream. So I'm going to push Finish, and it'll take just a second, and it should come up 
it'll read all the information, it'll give, you know, not only the cover art, but when it was produced and all those other kind of fun background information if that's what you're into. There it is. There it is. Just takes a couple of seconds. Now there's another way that you can also find the album or you can create something on your own. That's right. Let's say you're making a mix for somebody, like I'm making you a new best friend mix, <laughs> or uh, you have an independent label or something like that. You can go onto the internet, you can find a picture you want, or you have your own personal picture, and you can copy and paste. And the way you do that is you find whatever photo you want. I have one on my desktop right here. It's this beautiful artwork. I'm going to bring it up for you guys. And all you have to do is drag and drop on the album that you want. I actually have this album. It's from Bevan Bell, our director. He created some music, and so I, you just drag that onto the cover. That's all you would need to do is drag and drop or cut and paste, and you put it on the blank album, and then you have my face on your playlist. You can put whatever you want on there as well, right? BFS, best friends forever. That's what we did. <laughs> so right. now I'm going to relaunch the Touch Smart application, and I will launch music, and you will see that we have all of our music up here. All the album cover is looking great. Now you're ready to go and listen to some music. Okay, so as a reminder, before we start listening to music, that you want to go to settings and decide which library you want to use because the HP Touch Smart only recognizes one library at a time. You cannot merge your library, so you want to make sure if it's going to be iTunes or the Windows Media Player. That's right, and you normally would do that if you're going to be downloading music from iTunes or if you just want to use the Windows Media Player because you know that one better. Just make sure whatever music goes into, that's the one you want to use. And I have touched it right here, the HP Touch Smart Media Library, so I'm okay. going to tap save right here. Now let's go ahead and listen to some music. I'm going to touch song right here. I'll let All you right. do the honors of being the DJ here. All right, let's listen to one of Bevan Bell's songs, Buddha Spectre. Very nice. So there's a control panel in the upper right hand corner where you can stop music, you can forward music, you can play music. Volume controls are on the side. I'm sure you want it louder, right? I would love it louder, right? Come there's, on, turn it up! There's also another volume control right here on the keyboard. You can control that as well. Keep it away from Bob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. and if you guys have any questions about the Windows Media Player or iTunes, you can always go to Microsoft.com and input Windows Media Player or you can go to apple.com and search for iTunes and they'll have all their different information if you want to get more in depth. And if you have any comments or anything <laughs> you want to share with us, you can always go to hp.com slash touchmart or... You can also send us an email at knowyourpc at hp.com. So have some fun with music. I'm Alou. And I'm Bob. Have a good day.